Hey, all right. It's Atlas Reactor. I haven't. I used to uh, actually stream this game for like four hours a day, almost every single day, like about a year ago. And I haven't been back to it since. And I want to see what's going on with it. I'd like to be able to get back into playing it and have some constant, uh, uh, some relatively, you know, often updates on this channel about it. You know, every other day kind of gameplay video. Uh, because I think that in general, I don't really care for gameplay videos, but I think Atlas Reactor is really, really good for it. The same way that like something like League of Legends is because it, it not only combines the tactile aspect that I like and that fits the channel, but also has a bit more of an action kind of packed side where it's fast paced and exciting. So let's go into this. Oh, man, look at all these new characters. Who is this? We'll just take a minute to look at these. Oh, I remember that one. That was the character that was introduced just as I stopped playing. Uh, let's see. I think I played just about every other character, I mean, besides the new ones, for like four hours each. And then some of them more than others, like uh, Shotgun Chick, Ellie, uh, Blackburn, Soldier, Blackwood was probably my favorite character. Tolren. Oh, that guy looks interesting. He's like a samurai. Yeah, that, that character does not look great. Seems like their own rendition of like a diva kind of character. Okay, an archer. Looks nice. Looks normal too, compared to everyone else. Uh, Kaigen was one I played a whole ton. But I think I'll just play Lockwood. We'll play it safe. Four Lancer. What is Four Lancer? What? We'll do Four Lancer next time. For now, we'll just take we'll take Lockwood. Oh well, that was fast. Okay. Alright, Suren, I remember you. Helio. Echo. Uh, and Grey. Okay, I, I remember all these characters. Okay. And keep in mind, it's... I literally just like downloaded it and updated it like yesterday. <laughs> this is gonna be my first game in over a year. I was pretty skilled at it th at the time though. I think I had like a hundred hours in at the time over the like over like maybe like a month or something. Yeah, I was like over like a month. So I got pretty good at it pretty fast, but I'm probably outpaced by this point. Okay. So the for, for the most part. These uh, these gameplay Atlas videos aren't going to be so focused on more like the tactical aspect or anything like that. It's going to be more for kind of casual entertainment. Just kind of I want to be able to provide a buffer on this this channel with content that isn't, you know, strictly uh, coaching or, you know, tactical in mind. I kind of want to be able also to practice. I want to be able to provide some entertainment as well as practice my kind of live, quote unquote, live skills. And wow, Atlas Reactor used to take up like 50% of my CPU. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was sitting at like 10% of my CPU just a second ago. Now it's back up to 50. I may have to lower the lower the quality settings. This is just gonna be a trial run, so hold uh stick with me. This may not be the highest quality video. But it's okay. Remember, this channel is about always improving. Oof, eef. Getting up to about 80% CPU. It's not good. Although lowering the settings in OBS wouldn't do much because it's only recording at 8% CPU. Yikes. Yikes, 90%. That's crazy. And in times like this, uh, in future videos, I'll probably try and cut some of these loading times out or just start the game as soon as... Uh, as soon as the uh, as the match starts, but for this time in particular, I'm not going to be doing that. This is like almost akin to like a first look video, almost. If this game, you know, wasn't a year and a half old or whatever it is. All right, there we go. All right, so I know this map. It's a big map, big open space in the middle. Try and stick to the sides. Okay. All right. So let's go here. No, I want to go over here because I want to be able to take advantage of those edges. I'll probably sprint right here. Okay. Okay. All right, looking good. Okay. I'm kind of zooming. Huh, I feel like they changed the, com the camera controls a little bit, which is to be expected considering. All right, so I want to throw my trap here, I believe. Shot. Oh, are these mods not the same mods that I used to use? Alrighty then. Yeah, this is different. I don't think I used to use adrenaline. 
One really cool aspect about uh, Alice Reactor, by the way, that I feel like more tactical games should take advantage of is this time bank system. If you don't know what that is, basically when your time runs out, you know, you only get like 15 seconds per turn. And when that runs out, you get about uh, five seconds banked that you can use once uh, slash two times per game. So in the case that you're just about to run out of time, you get 20 seconds instead of 15 seconds. So if you're running just a little bit over, you'll be perfectly fine. But in general, you're supposed to be keeping it to 15 seconds to keep the game uh, moving quickly. It's a really, really nice system. I think Gwent could really benefit from it as well. Because sometimes, like a lot of times, uh, you have pretty straightforward plays. You don't need to think too much on what you're doing. Um, shoot, this isn't very good, is it? Let's go back here. Um, and in Gwent, sometimes you have st pretty straightforward plays, but sometimes you have very complicated plays that you need more time on. And I'd love for there to be at least like just maybe even just like a once time time bank. They give you like an extra 30 seconds to play out your turn or to think about it. That would be neat. So back to the camera controls, like this is really nice. I think before you used to only be able to go in the here to here. To here, to here, and now you have these like half steps. It's nice. It kind of seems like a very small improvement, but it helps a lot when you're trying to focus on what's going on in the game at hand. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Getting my camera way over there. Okay, so it just barely can't get both of them. Oh, you know what? I should have shot on the previous turn and then move. I forget in this game you, uh, it works kind of like, it's kind of like the reverse of Fire Emblem. You attack first, then move, as opposed to Fire Emblem where you move first and then attack. Whereas if you attack first in Fire Emblem, you end your turn. If you can't keep up, I'll come to you. Hmm, this isn't looking too good for us. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of new characters to learn. Okay, let's see. Damn. I may need to lower the quality settings on, on this game. Why does the camera keep going to like a random position? Oh, is that why? Okay, okay, okay there we go. I did it on a directed camera, which is not good. Alright, so I know he, Lockwood's probably gonna be somewhere in there, and then I'll move back here. Uh, I wonder. I hope might. I hope it doesn't matter which where you actually press these buttons in, and that might just uh, starts at the very end. Oh yeah, it does. That's right. It's a prep ability, so that means it will go first no matter which action you do first. Good stuff. Good stuff. Man, Atlas Reactor is such a great game. Why? I think one of the big reasons why I didn't continue pursuing uh, pursuing Atlas Reactor is because it didn't seem like there was much of a community building up or like a competitive scene. But man, this is a really nice game. It's, it's, a, it's a real shame. If it ain't broke, I'll fix that. Nice, got both those. And he got me too, but I'm behind the shielded area. I'm good. Root them out. Watch it. I, I didn't actually get to move. Uh, okay, I need to learn what these icons mean again. The revealed. I can get out of here if I wanted to. I could also warp. So, I need to get out of here. I'll jump over there. Oh yeah, taunts. <laughs> and you know, this game, does, it looks it looks good too. Like, it looks pleasing to uh, to watch. To a certain extent. You could probably use a bit more of a cinematic angle, but... Hey, better luck next time! Wanna pick me up? And you know, a lot of the strategies they use in Alice Reactor are pretty similar to Gwent. Like, predictions and, uh, bluffs. Thinking well ahead of time. Thinking well ahead of time. <laughs> My tongue just decided to give up halfway through that. Nicely done. Okay. 
Oh, this is good. This is good stuff. Okay, I wonder how many of these guys are gonna dash. Okay, so I have my gunshot set up so that it, if it doesn't actually hit uh, Echo, it'll hit the next guy in line. Or Hel Helio. <laughs> I'm already back to calling him Echo. Good stuff. I don't even know why I call him Echo. He's not even he doesn't even look that similar to him. Okay, he has old. Gonna smash you real good. Damn, that's big damage. More damage. I didn't get much off on him because of his shields. Yikes, this is not good. I'm actually pretty much dead here, I think. He's gonna ult towards me, so I'm gonna warp. But warp where? I can't even get into a Okay, so I can. I can't really get into a good spot that's concealed from them. So I just need to kind of like chill out and not get annihilated by them. Overcon. Hot potato. Hey, nice. <laughs> Oh, he is called Echo. Is Helio someone else? No, no, no. <laughs> His ability is called Echo Hammer. That's what I got it from. Okay. Really nice old ability. Huh. He didn't use his ult. I totally expected him to do so. Oh, heal is the other ability that I usually take. Not adrenaline. Maybe they got rid of heal. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, I'm going to hit this guy, and then I'm going to get out of the way. I can't really run anywhere, so I'll just go right here. Shield incoming. Or maybe I'm wrong about the camera change. I don't know. That's nice, though. Nice, 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 nice. So he's 100% gonna ult next turn. So what do I do next? What do I do next? My movement ability is down for a little bit longer. They're no they know I'm gonna be over here. Oh, my ult's ready too. I'm too far away. So maybe I should just sprint over. It's not a bad idea. I'll just sprint. You know, adrenaline doesn't seem very good, does it? Seems like it'd only be good in situations like uh, if you know you're gonna try and counter some knockback, but Time to go to plan. <laughs> why are you shooting? Gonna smash you real good. All right, so he's effectively dead. Thankfully, he's only once. Maybe he doesn't. Nope, he's still alive. Nice. That gives you that gives us one more turn. We don't know where literally anybody else is. Death is no obstacle. This is troubling. Maybe I do this here. That doesn't seem very good either though. Maybe we just do this. Maybe I just go for the shot. Alright. I still don't know what this character does. I need to know what that ult does. Warp, good job. He probably saved his own life. She misses <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, she misses her spear. Gunshot. Okay, all right. He's gonna ult, so that means I need to ult. He's ult like right here. Okay. I'm probably still gonna get hit by it. No, no, wait. If you're if you ult at the same time, someone else, some another lock would ult. I think you don't get hit. So I'm just gonna rely on that. I sure hope that's the case anyway. The battle is not done. Who's your favorite inventor? Pressing the emergency button. 
Huh. I'm the only one that ulted. How about that? No, no, wait. Mine's a dash, so they get still ult. She could, at least. He, this enemy Lockwood didn't, though. Weird. Because all, all it would have taken is a single shot and it would have killed him. Damn. I don't know if that was like a good bluff <laughs> or like a, a mistake. Nice. She's dead. Alright, so I need to dash out of here because I know Lockwood's going to be targeting me. Uh, I'm going to dash into the... Into the fog. Easy. Man, this game was good. No wonder I was able to play it for like four hours straight and doing commentary, which was pretty difficult, by the way. This is a good game. It's such a shame that's not more popular. Is it because of the developer, like Treon? I've heard that. Um, a few times that the reason why it's not doing well is because like people can't trust the developer or something but i don't know i don't i haven't had any issues with that so with luck this actually kills him and i need to go back around maybe they're spawning over there so maybe i need to make my way over there as well I'll grab this energy to start filling up that ult one more time, and I can probably use it by the end of the game. Shield on the field. <laughs> uh huh. Wait, what? No, he gets to do that and ult. What the hell? You got to throw a trap and ult. What? You got to throw a trap and hold? Is that because of like a special perk or is that because... Or is that because uh, something else? I'm pretty much dead. So I need to make sure to try and get as much damage off as I can. This is about like the best I got. Although none of these options are very good. I'm just dead. Ah, he got me man. He got me. <sighs> I wasn't expecting that old and all. Wait, how did he know I was there? I thought I was within the fog. Man, I've got a lot to learn about this game. Maybe he just took a good guess that I was going to be there. And he looks like he warped. Is that what that symbol means? Does that mean they warped? Bet you didn't see that That's really cool. I don't think that symbol existed previously. Okay, so I'm still alive for now, but I have no idea where this guy is. He's not within this cover zone. Five turns left. Stay focused. And this is just outside of my range, so I'm just going to rush for it. All right, let's see if I can throw a trap first and then run for it. No, I can't. I, that's a special perk that he has, I think. That allows him to do both. So by this point, uh, we're actually behind somehow. So I just need to not die. Oh, what? He, fade he faded. That's right. Ah, uh, no. That means my uh my my actions are gonna be wasted because he'll kill me before I can get to it. No, wait, you complete the action before you die, so maybe I don't die yet. Plus her heal, so yeah, I should be fine. I totally forgot about fade. Uh, fade allows you to teleport a very short distance away and gain stealth. I thought he had dashed over here into this area right here or something. Nice, got him, got him, got him. I wasn't able to move into the space though. Let's go ahead and move Four into it now. Remaining. Or I'll throw the trap first. I'll throw it like right here and then move here. And then move into that space. Uh, and I'm using the ability to uh, mark multiple places at once, which is also a really cool point in Atlas Reactor is that you can, you don't just move to a single space. You can plan out the route you take to that path. Really good. Like this game is just filled with so much good design. It's like, it's so depressing, like, once again, like, it just isn't that popular. Just for you. Copyright Maybe it's because it's hard to spectate. Maybe is that why? But it can't be any harder to spectate than something like Gwent. Right? Gwent doesn't look that good. So there's not much time left. Where's, uh, do we see where he's spawning, Lockwood? We don't. 
Uh, so I'm just going to avoid this entirely. There's my timer coming into effect. I'll just sprint over here. I just need to make sure I don't cost my team the game by not dying. And if I just keep going around the map and not getting hit, then I'll be fine. And all they need to do is kill one person to tie it up, and then we go into overtime. Let's take this to the next level. Evasive maneuvers. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see what she did. She probably attacked, but we're not sure. So I can sprint by this point. Lockwood's way over there. I'll probably go right here. I can't really do much else besides that. So maybe I go right here? No, she has she has ult. So maybe right here. Yeah. And then I can use uh, Spray and Prey next. Light him up. Because I won't miss you. I seemed really weak. <laughs> what was that? It wasn't an ultimate ability, right? Hey, get off. <laughs> my eyes closed. It's right there. Oh, this is looking bad. Oh wait, that's ours. Okay, that's ours. So he's right there. I can't really use spray and pray too well here. Actually, I can just barely, just barely left. hit here. I think that'll work. And then I'll just go ahead and use my adrenaline to move right here. Attack them now. Uh, the way I'm using light, uh, light up is so that I can hit people just in case they dash. And also, I can't really hit anyone with my bullet anyway. Oh, but if, if Lightwood goes for a light him up, it's going to hit pretty hard. No, it's not. Okay. But why... But why attack her? Instead of... Uh, Helio. If he had attacked Helio, we would have tied up the game right there. Thankfully, I was able to get it. But... That was a little bit too close. Oh, he was going to kill him anyway. Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So on this next turn, we need to make sure we kill someone so they don't just get a return kill and win. Not cool. Oh, is it the first kill wins? I hope it's the first kill at the end of the turn. Which is probably the case. Okay, I don't really have a lot of options here. So this is it. This is the game that wins or loses. It's pretty good. Can't live without me. Go ahead and... Do my emoticon here from chapter one. <laughs> Nano magic, quicker than light. <sighs> Let that be your last mistake. Who's the scaredy cat now? Try and escape. Oh, oh, oh! It continues. You'll go where I tell you. Barely, maybe. Now I have my ult up, but I can't kill anyone. I have my ult up, but I can't kill anyone. Alright, that's about as good as it gets. <laughs> One more turn, let's do it. Oh, GG. Oh, I can't. I don't have any GG boosts. Going all out. Ooh, gonna get addicted to this. It's gonna it's not it's just barely gonna, gonna be close enough. Yeah. Ow, I almost died too. Close. Very, very close. <laughs> I didn't die though. That was nice. Regroup and re up. Oh man, I feel like the one guy that didn't DG. I just don't have it, man. I'm sorry. Oh man, I'm not up there either. This is really cool. We didn't have a stat screen the last time we played. I like this. Oh wow, there's still a lot of information. Uh, okay. So hits. Uh, where do I see, like, compared to everyone else? Is 
This is a lot of information. Okay, this is what I was looking for. This is what we used to have. Okay, so I went 303, which is pretty good. Damage, 396, not too bad. For zero deaths, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a pretty good first match. All right, so that's the first Atlas Reactor gameplay video and probably quite a long line of them. This game is great. I can't believe I stopped playing it for so long. In the next video, we'll probably go over some of these menus and stuff, like what the, I've got stored for my loot, what's in the store store, some of these other characters, and we'll take this out, and we'll check out Ford Lancer. I have no idea what that is. Oh wait, is that just... Is that just you, like... Maybe you, uh, like, make your Q times go faster if you pick one of these guys? Like, you pick backups or something? I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. I'll check it out later. Thanks for watching.